Um, you know, every time I turned around and there was a, a real immediate need, whether it was allied welcome or the COVID response, always just heard about service now sort of being in the middle of that. Give us an example, if you would, of where uh, agencies have adopted this technology uh, to serve the need. Sure. Um, well, th- thanks, Luke. You know, I think one of the reasons why you see that is ServiceNow is, you know, a great technology to quickly develop solutions on. <clears throat> As a platform, like we talked about, it's a single piece of ar- it's a single piece of technology. It's one architecture. It's one database um, with uh, low code capability, so people can spin things up very quickly, and they can um, modify and change the customer workflows or employee workflows that we've already created also very quickly. So they can, they can, um, you know, rapidly establish a new ability, a new capability in the environment and, and meet a need, you know, and I I touched on the, um, the uh, PMA earlier and, you know, Mm -hmm. tied into that is the customer experience uh, executive order. And in that customer experience executive order, there's uh, some requirements for the fish and wildlife service around e-permits and um, Fish and Wildlife uses ServiceNow's uh, customer workflows and our, our new public sector digital services capability to enable um, public to engage in various regulated wildlife um, uh, activities. So, you know, previously, you know, permits were a, a very manual process. And, you know, there's like 65,000 different kind, uh, permits issued each year and, and before the e-permit system that we've worked on together. Um, applicants, you know, had to apply for permits through the mail and pay with a check. And, you know, that can take a very, um, you know, a very long time. And as as we've rolled out uh, e-permits, we can now be much more customer focused and provide very quickly um, citizens with what they want, the ability to, to recreate or do things on, on land or, or for organizations to partic- participate in scientific research to be very, um, very fast in getting the, the approvals they need to do the work they're trying to do. So we're trying, you know, and, and this is just one example, we're doing things like this, um, you know, across government, where we're trying to take the manual processes away. We're trying to take the, um, uh, we're trying to make the work and data flow as quickly and as readily as possible. And as we add in automation, we add in um, artificial, artificial intelligence capabilities that are built in part of the platform. We can extend these kinds of solutions to other critical workflows across uh, across organizations. And, you know, ultimately, just like Sanjay said, that provides... Um, you know, a better service, whether it's to employees who can be more focused and, and do the examinations he, were just, he was describing or people that rely on government agencies to process uh, their permit or other kind of application. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get focused on the things that are most important. And we're doing quite a lot of that. 